So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and today has been a huge day for the world of Black Ops 4 as Black Ops 4 Zombies got an amazing trailer. I'm sure you've already seen it, but for those watching that have not seen it yet, I'll include a link down below to the trailer in full, as well as my 18 minute breakdown. If you're interested, definitely check out those two videos as I put in a ton of time into them and I'd really appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to do that after you've watched this one, as in the midst of all the excitement for Zombies, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 leaks have made their way onto the internet. Now, this person who's posted these leaks onto Reddit has used an anonymous account, which seems to be an account created only today, and they also leaked some zombies information, which was inside of the trailer. This information was posted before the trailer was released, and so the information that he got correct makes me feel like this blackout info will also be pretty genuine. But of course, like always, take everything you hear in this video with a little pinch of salt as we don't know 100% if this leak is real, but since this person got the zombie stuff correct, I'm leading to believe that this is real. If you're excited for Blackout, let me know down below in the comment section on all your thoughts on this and drop a thumbs up as well as I'd really appreciate that. Now the first thing we go on to is talking about the map and it is the largest map in Call of Duty history, but there's lots of focus on verticality, which which means they're going to be focusing on, you know, large scale multi story buildings. As seen in the teaser, the map features pieces of iconic maps from previous games. We know that Nuketown is going to be a part of the Battle Royale map, and we have now known from this leak that Nuketown is located in the middle of the map as an island surrounded by water set after the nuke is dropped. The layout and theme of Nuketown in Blackout is similar to that of Nuketown zombies from Black Ops 2. So, of course, many of you guys are going to be be familiar with Nuketown Zombies from Black Ops 2, but the way that is, is it's basically think of a Nuketown once the nuke has hit. It's post-apocalyptic, everything is destroyed, there is absolute chaos surrounding it, and this is very interesting that Nuketown is in the middle of an island surrounded by water, so you're going to have to physically use a sea vehicle in order to access it. Pretty much the loot lake of Black Ops 4 Blackout. Now, the player count leak that we had a few weeks ago seems to line up here with what's going on, as in this leak, they said they're aiming for at the very least 50 players, but they're currently testing 64 players right now with plans to increase if possible. That is very interesting as the leak a week or so ago said that it was going to be 60 players on the Battle Royale, but at the moment they're aiming at the very least for 50 and they're testing 64. 64 is a player count we've seen for big scale games like Battlefield where they have 32 versus 32 teams and even 64 versus 64 at times. So let me know down below in the comment section is 64 players a disappointment to you or does it sound like a sort of roundabout number that you'd expect from a cod battle royale bear in mind we've not even seen what the full-fledged map is going to be like for gameplay wise now health this is a very very key thing as how is the health system going to work in this game if multiplayer does not have a regenerative health system they said the health in this is 150 hp which is exactly like the multiplayer and it's replenished via scavengeable medical Cool kits so we won't be able to use you know the syringe to heal ourselves like multiplayer we've got to actually replenish our health via finding medical kits around the map a pretty similar system to what we're used to already with fortnite and pubg you can equip scavenged armor which allows the player to take one extra shot of damage so they're going with a pubg style system a little bit where there's scavenged armor, but it's pretty much your own version of a shield. This will protect you from normal bullets, but Treyarch have also mentioned briefly that there's going to be different ammo types as well within Battle Royale, and this leak suggests that there's going to be armor piercing rounds, which will counter the effect of armor. So if you have armor piercing rounds and you shoot at someone with armor, it's going to completely negate the effect of the extra health. So far, I'm sort of believing this. The next one is there's limited inventory slots, which we're not surprised by. It seems like they're going down the PUBG route, how you can increase your inventory slots with increased space via scavenged backpacks, which if you're not familiar with the concept in PUBG, you can find different backpacks around the map and they have various degrees of levels. The higher the level, the more stuff you can carry. I'm not sure if this is meaning just the invent slots is what
what you can carry in your invent as what's visible on screen or if you have an actual inventory system where you can carry lots of different items in your backpack rather than a select five or six like in Fortnite. And we know that we can find weapons around the map but how exactly is weapon loot going to work and apparently weapon loot has rarity depending on the rarity your weapon will have different attachments so the higher the rarity the better or more attachments on the weapon so going down the route of a Fortnite rarity system there. They say that this is subject to change and they're currently talking about attachments being scavenged rather than rarity dependent so rather than you getting a better rarity weapon having attachments on you might have to actually go find them but the higher the rarity weapon the more damage it could do possibly we don't quite know in the comment section let me know would you rather have a higher rarity system or a system like PUBG where you simply just find the weapon and the weapon does the base amount of damage and there's no real way you can change that apart from finding attachments and adding them on now this is a big one and this could possibly make or break the mode and this is consumable abilities so I'm guessing these are things you can find around the map and they're going to work like the multiplayer specialist ability so for example Torque's portable barricade has a one-time use in battle royale mode ruins grapple hook has a limited amount of uses and nomad's dog which can be commanded to follow the player or guard an area very intriguing this is definitely going to shape things up and change the battle royale formula as no games right now have like these special abilities i guess unless you're talking about stuff like realm royale but that's a little bit different as you can use those quite frequently there's equipment in the game as well and there's a example given such as the recon rc which is an rc xd but without the explosive afterwards and this can be scavenged and gives the player an advantage as i guess you can use it to scout out and find where players are currently a monkey bomb equipment which doesn't explode can be found in battle royale blackout but it's likely a placeholder for a decoy grenade now i'm willing to actually expect the monkey bomb equipment to stay and for them to not switch it out because there is going to be zombies equipment within blackout they've said as well there's going to be some fan favorite weapons maybe even some old zombie weapons so a monkey bomb definitely keep it in there Treyarch. what are you doing now we know that there's going to be land sea and air vehicles inside of blackout and currently the atv which we see in the trailer is the only fully functioning vehicle in the current build now hearing this scares me a little bit because if there's land air and sea vehicles the game's three months away from releasing and there's only one fully functioning vehicle. What is going on here? Either the leaked build that this person is talking about is an older build or the current state of Blackout really is that there's only one fully functioning vehicle. I kind of don't want to believe it, but if it's true, then that is very, very disappointing. The storm or gas mechanic is currently a simple visible wall that closes in on the map. I mean, they could be so much more creative with the storm gas mechanic, people mentioning like zombies running towards you. And we do know that zombies are actually within the blackout mode, but we don't know how this is going to work. Maybe you go, uh, uh, you come across a area from a zombies map and zombies are present. But I don't know if the storm gas mechanic is going to stay that way as a visible wall that closes in, then that is pretty dull in my opinion. And the final final bit we have here is that while players will simply parachute into the map at the start of the game much like we have with Fortnite and PUBG but again this specific detail is subject to change and there were talks of moving to a spawn in system similar to Call of Duty Online are happening so the way it works there is you pick a area of the map you want to spawn and you're all underground and then when the timer ticks down you just simply shoot up from the ground you're in this chamber the chamber opens and you can begin scavenging i definitely would rather a parachute mechanic because it's a lot more fun and you can see a whole bunch of the map coming in at once rather than the call of duty online mechanic where you're just simply not really going to see a lot of people when you first jump in now, obviously i'd take all these details that i just mentioned with a grain of salt as there isn't a guaranteed way to prove that this information is legitimate but this reddit count did post some stuff about zombies which was correct that we did see within the reveal trailer for the gameplay trailer that was released a few hours ago some of this stuff sounding pretty good and some sounding a little bit rushed it's not good news by the sounds of it and 
I guess to me, it feels better that we're at least hearing some details about Blackout rather than hearing nothing, which we've heard absolutely nothing about for so, so long since it was revealed back in May. Another reason why I want to believe this is Charlie Intel reported on this as well. And Charlie Intel are a, you know, a pretty reputable source and they would not really post or in this case share details about a leak if they didn't feel like it was correct itself. Charlie Intel's wording is that this leak is unconfirmed as of now, but they might be able to confirm it in the very near future. When things like this happen, Charlie Intel normally report on it and then things get spread around and either people on the inside that have sources that can confirm it will come out and say it or we'll just look back at this in a few months time and laugh about all these details. But again, take it with a grain of salt, but it's still very interesting to discuss nonetheless. Let me know what you think of this all down below in the comment section. Drop a thumbs up on the video and check out all the rest of the zombie videos that are posted today. But thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.